Welcome, I'm Tavara Gadamu. More and more girls are joining the traditionally male-dominated fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. And my guest today, Salam Tashome, is a perfect example of this. Starting with a brief mentorship in STEM during her high school years, Salam is now focused on pursuing robotics in the years ahead with the goal of inspiring many more girls to follow in her footsteps. That is an encouraging achievement as we look forward to March 8th, International Women's Day. A very well welcome to, to the program, Salam. Pleasure to be here. So you are a pre-engineering student at the Adama Science and Technology University, one of the premier uh, universities in the country that trains students in those fields, right, in engineering and so on. Yeah. Can you give me a background to that? Why were you interested in engineering? Um... The, my journey began when the STEM, the Focus STEM Power, they have a mobile laboratory. They visited our school. STEM, the STEM Power is an institution that yes. basically focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, they visited our school and they introduced us to for the to the STEM centers, the STEM center teams, and also in, uh, show us their incredible job they do. And they offer us to join the their center. Then, um, I, since I'm so fascinated about the tech world, I decided to take the chance and join in, the, in the, their summer program in the robotics major. That's how I started my journey. Robotics. Definitely related to engineering in some form, right? Yeah. And for how many summers did you attend this training? It's actually for two months. The um, the the teaching learning process like for two weeks. After that, it's uh, all our job. It's like practical practical things to do. So uh, they show us the basic things to do. Uh, then um, we will try to improve ourselves and to do the projects that that we expected to do. What are these projects in robotics that you handled as a student at those centers? It's um, as a uh, competition to uh, perform uh, like more than 14 tasks uh, and the, after, uh, the thing that is like uh, to do in the robotics is like uh, the, to make the robot to be uh, uh, to perform every task is, uh, they they provide you with the robot right uh, the mind the mind uh, right the robot mind they provide us their mind their robotic mind and they, we designed uh, the robotics at the at the it should perform uh, then also we also write the codes uh, in order to do the uh, given task so what were what were the tasks those given tasks uh, that you were working on that you were designing the competition it was based on the uh, like uh, performing uh, tasks in the um the construction sites or cleaning um, wages uh, and also uh, wastes and uh, demolition constructions and stuff like that. The concept is based on that. Uh, they are, the tax, the tax are like different from uh, every uh, part of the uh, um, uh, the journey takes the uh, the robot. Uh, so we have to make them to perform at least uh, three or three to four tasks at at once. So uh, th that's how we do it. So how, if, how effective were these robots in performing those tasks? Uh, to make it uh, effective, you need to be precise. Uh, every single text you you need, you need to write down, and um, uh, the measurements you you do, and the physical part, it needs to it needs to be uh, well co cooperate with the code, also the uh, the tasks you do. So uh, the precision also one of the um, the problem the obstacles we faced. Uh, so um, the efficiency we made is like more. Still, I can say is like pre in precision. So it's it was near perfect, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Quite. So we we put it to use, um, uh, and also I also uh, by myself I try to replicate the uh, the the like the color sorting robots uh, just uh, to enhance my knowledge on the uh, the. Um, 
the teaching the, they taught me. So uh, I also uh, made the, the replicates. Uh, the well, okay, can you explain a bit more color sorti sorting? Uh, color sorting is like, um, uh, let's say, like in, in factories, like there is a, 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 an apple factory, uh, so they uh, throw out the bad ones, so based on their colors or something like that, right? So in order to sort out, to sort them out, there is a, um, a light sensor, the light sensing, the sensor they use. So um, to I, we took the I took the concept of that, that then um, I used the robotics mind and the Legos. So uh, as it uh, as it shows uh, when it sh show it. In the light sensor, it's it's built sorted by itself. The robot. How does it make you feel? Your work is going to make so many workers jobless. Have you thought about that? Uh, Were you just concentrating on the creative part of it, innovation? Uh, so not only that. Uh, I mean, uh, working in this uh, in this um, area is like uh, there are a lot of dangerous works. Like people are not capable of working, uh, especially like it, it can be like melting uh, iron stuff like that. They can be much much d dangerous than than you think. Like people are dying because of like working in a factory. So I just want to uh, not making the concept is not making people home. I mean jobless uh, I, I just want to make it more safe and um, also um, work it as efficiently so oh, so who were your mentors at this center who were who your teachers on this two months workshop uh, my robotics mentor is, uh, his name is called Abraham and Uh, he helped me, he teaches us the, uh, the summer, in the summer program and he helped, uh, he helps us uh, through a lot of things. Uh, the, the way teaching and learning process uh, with him also like, uh, teaches us like the, uh, more as a team, I work with a partner, so uh, Tasha, he taught us like the communication is a key to work together and perform harmony, uh, not only like only pro uh, problem solving or um, um, in, or tackling issues or stuff like that, but also work as a team. And um, yeah, he helps me through that. So I understand that you showcased your work at the African Union, right? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, you and your friends, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, me and my friends. Uh, from a robotics, uh, I was the uh, only one. Uh, but uh, um, when I get the invitation to there, I was so pleased uh, because uh, when I get there, I meet a lot of people. Like the, from like different, they have different per per perspective of seeing the world. So we share a lot of experiences. They're like. Um, the, the they're from different countries so uh, uh, as we experience as we sharing experiences it, it taught me a lot um it, the thing that we showed there was the, as i mentioned earlier a robot that i use in the, com the in the competition uh, the robots which we use it to perform the tasks so uh, I use that robot in order to, to, to showcase the people. Also, the students were invited, the, uh, the nearby stu schools, students. They were also very fascinating about it. They were asking us, uh, where, do you, like, where do you learn? Where, 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 where should I get this? And uh, they were like a grade. And so I was so pleased. So they are so, uh, uh, they are so curious about it. So we we have another next generation to. Wow, that's 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 interesting. That curiosity is very interesting, right? Yeah. Were you surprised by that? Very surprising. Like the 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 one kid I met, he was he asking a lot of questions. So I was like. Uh, I I know like it's robotics is very fascinating, but uh, when he asked uh, the, those questions, I even questioned myself like uh, even that like uh, this is like 
oh, it's like uh, it's a very fascinating uh, field. So uh, I we still have a lot of th to do. Uh, we need uh, we need a lot of people, a lot of students to uh, give them an aware. So uh, if uh, one student, if some students see this and being curious about this, um, think like all over the the country, especially like ours, like a regional regional areas, um, they need to be aware. So in order to even overcome their own community problem, so that's very fascinating. So, so do you think girls and women are underrepresented in this in this sector in this area, in uh, STEM? There is actually because this is basically known as a man's world. Yes, it's actually like a stereotype of like it's a male dominancy field, but uh, a lot of women, uh, a lot of female students do not like get the opportunity because especially the uh, limited institution and platforms that uh, in our country. So uh, not only in our country, so uh, as I meet the people uh, in the AU, they also uh, told me that like they, we need this, uh, this same power, they say like we need this. So uh, this needs to be a lot of places because uh, uh, being aware, especially females, uh, in, in, in can increase uh, also uh, working on the uh, this the problem solving skill they have so um, there is a lot more that uh, girls women and girls uh, could bring to this conversation right in STEM right yes yes problem we, sol solving that's very interesting yes problem solving is like uh, one of the things you could get like the communities you will find in this team also like uh, it brings you uh, through uh, to see at least even not the whole to see the outside of the box but also at least a peek of the to see the outside of the box uh, which is helps you to increase the amount of knowledge you had in the you, the hunger of n n learning new experiences. So I feel like this can change not only their societies, but also the country also. So wh what are the challenges that girls and women face when they want to get involved in STEM, in science, technology, and so on? What are the main challenges, do you think? You, uh, can, you can reflect based on your experience. Because you were very, very, you were very few three years ago when you started this training, right? Yes, we were few. Few, few girls. Yes, we were few girls. Uh, I feel like uh, one thing is like the stereotype I mentioned. Yes, uh, and the other thing is like not having enough uh, uh, aware for the women, or not only females, like a lot of people, uh, but especially women, because of the uh, stereotype that they don't want to like, why they don't actually like even joining the engineering world. Uh, it's, it's even engineering for the, it's called like male dominancy field. So uh, it's not for like, the dom it's not about like the dominancy or being stereotyped. Uh, and not having enough, enough, enough wear, it might be a problem. But uh, because of dominancy, it's, it, I don't think it's, it's supposed to be like that because uh, the field is very fascinating. So you can, you have, you just uh, only to be like curious and the desire to be that, to be in that field. And the, the, the journey you be, will be through makes you pl uh, to be a, pl a problem solver. Um, a lot of things like it gives you a lot of hands-on experiences. So uh, I feel like um, women's or females, in order to like to overcome that, like for me, frankly speaking, I it's uh, it's hard for me like to say that um, I do what I had to do because um, I always seeking an opportunity that comes through my way. And uh, because I'm passionate about it, I work, uh, I 
I work and put my full effort to, to it, uh, then it's for me it's all about like work and the result. But were were there were there times when you were, were you were told, hey, this is not for you? Uh, actually, like uh, especially, I saw that when I I joined the uh, Adama Science and Technology. Uh, what are you gonna study as like engineering? Their face only tell you the the whole thing. So uh, there's still like that stereotyping in the in their community. So it might hold you back. Even your family. I mean, uh, a girl, a girl, injuring student is like, it's even hard to tell them for their relatives and stuff. Uh, but um, my family, especially uh, my dad and all of them, I can say, they were super uh, su uh, supportive about it. So uh, they even helped me to in inside a lot of things, especially my dad works on uh, um, go a lot of rural areas, so he sees a lot of problems. So we talk. So um, I think, uh, especially they. He, want, he wants to have you as a problem solver. Yes. Fascinating. So in a few years' time, you're going to graduate in in engineering from the Adama Science and Technology University. So what do you think you will be in the next, in five to ten years? Um. If God's will, I um, I think uh, after I finish engineering, uh, I I would like to um, enhance my knowledge more about the robotics and technology. Um, it can be worked on an a board, so I can have more uh, knowledge on robotics and technology. Uh, but also, um, I really still I want work with uh, the STEM power uh, to helping them by um, um, giving um, aware to uh, students um, like me who doesn't have like this opportunity or chance to get. Um, I also uh, want to be an inspire f females to uh, work, who wants to work in this field, who have like even a clue. It's not like it's it's not for a man or anyone. Uh, if you are even a female who has a desire to work within this field, uh, you just have to be. Uh, uh, des if you have an, any desire. Just work on it and... Um. Well, Salam, good luck with that. It was really a pleasure having you on my show. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.